Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of 3Max. This is a YouTube channel where I'll be sharing tips and tricks that I've learned over the years to help you get a little bit more familiar with the Emacs text editor. So in today's video, I'll be sharing a bit about how to extend Emacs by installing packages via MELPA, also known as MELPA which is a package archive that has various different packages that extend Emacs to give you a lot of helpful features that don't come out of the box. So first I'd like to share a little bit about why you would want to even install a package in the first place. So to start off, I'll uh, edit the file that I created in the previous video, hello.go. And one thing you might notice in this file, as we're seeing it, is that there's no helpful syntax highlighting. All of the text is the same color. That's pretty boring. Another thing for the Go programmers among you, you might notice that um, instead of using tabs, my editor has actually inserted spaces here. Now that's not um, the end of the world, but that's not the proper Go style. So not only does it not look visually appealing, actually the code is not formatted properly either. So we'll be able to fix both of those by installing a go mode package, again, which doesn't come by default in Emacs. And we're gonna install that using Melpa. All right, at this point, some of you might be wondering, what is Melpa? What does it stand for? And why, why do we care about it? So Melpa stands for Milky Postman's Emacs Lisp Package Archive. Now that's a bit of a mouthful and I don't really know who Milky Postman is. But one of the great things about Melpa is that it is an extensible package archive. So it allows people to contribute community packages to share with others. And it's very comprehensive. It's one of the largest uh, package archives out there for Emacs. It's got something like 5,000 plus packages. So pretty much any language any package you might be interested in should be out there. And if it's not, well, you can go ahead and write it and share it with the archive so that others can get it. All right, so before we get started with Melpa and installing packages, we wanna make sure that our Emacs is compatible with it. So there's uh, basically two things that you're gonna to wanna to check. We're gonna to wanna to check the version of our Emacs and make sure that it's something that supports package.el, which essentially means that it's greater than 24.1. We can see here that I've got Emacs 27.1, so I should be good to go there. The other thing that we're gonna to want to make sure is that we are able to access the internet via via Emacs. So we can do that with uh, MetaX EWW to open up a web browser in Emacs. And we'll go ahead and just check out www.example.com. And there it is. So we do have an internet connection and Emacs can operate over that connection. So that's great. This Emacs should be able to work with Melpa. Okay, now that we've verified that our Emacs should be good to go ahead and install Melpa, we will just go ahead and do that. So let's open up um, our .emacs file. So in our home directory, we're gonna open up .emacs. If it doesn't exist, this should create it. It looks like I have a blank configuration. You may already have some stuff inside of this file and you're gonna need to add the code into that file. So I've already copied this from the Melpa website. So let's go ahead and paste that in, or at least I thought I had copied it. Here it is. And yep, that's it. So it looks like there are three lines. The first one is require a package. Next one is adding Melpa to the list of package archives. So by default, Emacs doesn't know anything about Melpa and this line will register that into the list of package archives for Emacs. And then after that, we will run this package initialize function. Again, the semicolon lines, these are all just comments. So those will be ignored unless I need to uncomment them. So we'll go ahead and save this file. Um, I'm gonna close it and refresh. Oh. 
Okay, now that Melpa has been installed to our .emacs file, let's go ahead and install the go mode package. So for that, we're gonna run metax package-list-packages. And once this loads, we will search for the go mode package. And here it is. So we'll go to the other buffer with control X O and we'll highlight this install link, hit enter. And when it asks us whether we want to install it, indeed we do. So we'll hit the Y and there it is. It has installed. So let's see what that does for our file hello.go. And when it loads, we see that the syntax highlighting is here. So we're able to get a lot of great features there. Uh, and as I had mentioned before, one of the other features is this spaces to tabs feature. So one of the features of Go is that it should be written with tabs. And we see that here. Now when I hit enter, it tabs into a new line. Uh, we see that with the greater than greater than character here. So let's go ahead and add a new quick line and save the file. And we can run our command. And there it is. Okay, so to wrap things up here, we started to learn about Melpa, which is a Emacs list package archive that we can add to Emacs, and which has a lot of helpful packages, such as the go mode package that I've installed in this video. Um, hopefully that was helpful for all of you. Uh, feel free to uh, leave any comments if you have any questions. And if you like this content, I'd appreciate if you like the video and subscribe. Thank you all, and I'll see you at the next video soon.